Feral Daryl plays! Join my Roblox group, the Cedar Crew, today to be an official Cedar Crew member. Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays, and welcome back to another Overlook Bay video. In this video, we're going to be going over everything in the Valentine's Day Festival update in Overlook Bay, and we will be rating everything on the update. We will be rating every pet. 1 out of 10, and we will be rating the entire update as a whole out of 10. Let's get straight into today's video. So, the first pet in today's video is the Mythic Ladybug. This pet anyone could buy. It is 8,500 gems, and it is right here in the middle of the Valentine's Day Festival, and its special abilities, like every other Mythic pet, it has special ability, and this one is it evolves and gives you harvest. So the harvest, plus one harvest. That means when you shake down a tree, you get plus one fruits each time, which is a pretty good feature. This is a great way to get money really, really fast in the game. Like right here in this tree, I got four pieces of fruit. That is usually between one to two more than I normally get. Let's move on to the next pet, and that pet is a Cupid's Teddy. You get the Cupid's Teddy in the Wishing Well. It is a 0.5% chance to get it out of Wishing in the Wishing Well, which is exactly one out of every 200 wishes. So spin your wishes, try and get this pet before it goes out of the game. So let's do a little explaining right here first. The Cupid's Fountain. What you do is you talk to Cupid, and he gives you a item. It costs 500 gems and it gives you something. There's 55% chance at a pet pod, 35% chance at a vehicle, 10% chance at a collectible. And each pet pod only is a 55% chance, therefore it will be pretty hard to get any of these pets, so they will be really rare in the future. So right here you can get a Swirly Loli, or a Lambo Loli, a Choco Bar, a Berry Bar, or Valicorn. These are the pets that you can get from the egg. The Valicorn is a 5% chance, and there's only 55% chance to get it. So let's look up here on the board. I have almost everything. I have all of these on all of my accounts combined, but not all on this account. Not sure why I don't, but I should. Okay, so this is a collectible right here, 10% chance. It is pretty cute, but let's get back to rating things. So, the Mythic Ladybug, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. I don't think it is as game-changing as a Celebration Dragon, but it is still a great pet. On the other hand, the Cupid's Teddy, I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. Because this pet is the cutest little pet ever. And it is the best pet to come out of the Wishing Well, in my opinion. It also has little sparkles and effects too. I really, really love that. This is really cool. Let's move on to the next pet. And the next pet is a legendary pet. It is the Valicorn. The Valicorn is a legendary pet that you can get out of the Valentine's pet pod. It is a 5% chance at getting this, so it is very, very rare. And the next two pets are the chocolate bars. One of them is a berry bar and the other is a choco bar. See right here, berry bar and choco bar. I like the uh, berry bar a little bit better. It looks cuter. But both of them I'm going to give a 9 out of 10 because these are really, really cute. This is a great pet, guys. It is really, really cute. So let's move on to the next thing. And that will be... Oh, actually, we already went through all the pets. So all the pets combined. Out of every season and every pet in the game, I will rate this series of pets a 9.5. These are my favorite pets to be included in one update in the game. It is really, really cool. Good job, Overlook Bay, for making this such a great update. And let's go over the other things now in this update. The Cupid's Buggy I will buy right now. It is pretty cute. I mean, it's not my favorite car in the game, but it is still enough for me to buy it. It is a legendary, so this is a cute little car. I will probably never use this ever in the game, but it, it's still pretty cute. I would rate it... A, let's see, it's pretty cute, it has lights and everything, and the lights and hearts. I'll write it at 8.5, because it's not that bad of a car. I might write it someday, but probably not in the future. So, the next vehicle is none other than, I have to find it, it I think it's a Choco Scooter and the Choco Skateboard. 
Those are pretty cute cars. I, once again, will never use them, but still. Just right there. So we rated every pet. Let's see. This collectible. I will give it a 8 out of 10 because I think they are collectibles cuter. For example, the Megan plush and the Honey plush and all the other plushies from Christmas were cute. But still, this was cool for them to add the Valentine's Teddy plushie. This is pretty cute. Also, right here, Cupid. We're going to talk to Cupid and ask to buy a wish, which is pretty cool. This is a great feature. I never thought they would add something like this. And of course, I will take advantage of this. So it looks like I got the collectible right here, which is a 10% chance. So it is a Valentine's Day Teddy plush. That's pretty cool. So we're going to do another one, another wish, our last wish for today, and see exactly what we get. Hopefully we get a Valentine's Day pet pod so we can save them for the future. But no, it looks like we got a car. That's okay, though. A car is not that bad, but... I really wanted a pet pod, but that's okay. And this is game changing right here. These these little things right here. What you have to do is you have to buy Cupid's bow and you shoot it with the arrow. So we are going to shoot all of the targets in this game. There are 10 of them. I know where most of them are. I know where nine of them are, but let's explore the city and try and find them all. So I know one of them is right here by the wishing well. There we go, 15 gems. That's quite a bit more than I would expect. So this is a very quick and easy way to get gems fast. There's another one around here somewhere. There it is, right there. And we're gonna keep going, trying to find more. I've written these down on paper of exactly where they are so we don't miss any. But right here it says total targets, four out of 10. This is so that I can track the targets and possibly at 10 you can get a bonus, which is really, really cool, I think. So one at Emerald Estates, one at Coffee, one at Valentine's Day area, the pier, mines, the cave, lighthouse, wishing well, and the fishing area. So let's go over here to the pier and shoot the one over here. I'm still missing one. I'm not quite sure where the last one is. I still haven't found it yet, but that's okay, guys. So there's a target right here. I'm going to shoot this target, get 10 more gems. So it seems like it's just a random chance every single time at getting a certain amount of gems, but still, okay, we're going to get out our shiny celebration dragon and hope that we get more gems for this but here's the boat right here because i do know that there is another target on the fisher island over there also there's one around the lighthouse which is right there in the far distance and then there's one by the wishing well which we got one in the fishing area which is exactly where we're going one in the mines and one in the cave that take us to the old christmas village and I am missing one still, but I will find that in the future. I'm really curious to see what exactly we get from hitting all 10 targets. Right now we have five targets hit, and let's talk more about the bow right here. I will rate this a 10 out of 10. This is the best item in the game currently right now. This is the greatest item in the whole game, guys. Invest on this bow and arrow. It will be worth a lot in the future, and hopefully... All the targets stay around forever, and we can benefit on the targets and getting more gems forever in this game. So Overlook Bay, team, Wonderwork Studio, if you're watching this video, keep the targets in the game. You don't have to make it Valentine's Day themed after Valentine's Day is over, but keep it in the game. This is really cool, guys. This is one of the coolest features in the game. So we jumped off the boat right here. Hopefully we don't get eaten by a shark. Okay, we didn't. And we're going to shoot one of the targets, which is right here on the island. Oh, I didn't shoot it though. Okay. There. I shot the target. Now we have six total. So we're going to find more of them. I don't think there's any more over here. So we are going to teleport back to the city and find the final four targets in the game. I'm not quite sure where they are, but we're going to find them. I promise you that we will find them this video. If we need help, I will ask for help gladly, and that will be okay. So I know there's one on top of here because I've seen it already and shot it a few days ago. And this is a cool one. This one is hidden. It took me a while to find this, actually. So I got 10 gems there, 5 XP, and we have shot 7 out of the 10 targets. There's another target right there, which we will shoot, and hopefully we can find the last two. 
So there, we have eight out of 10. Now we gotta find a few more. I know for sure there's one at mines. And then I'm not sure where the others are, guys. To be honest, I don't know. Okay, nine out of 10. Did we get the one at the wishing well? I'm not 100% sure if we got it or not. Or in the Valentine's Day area. I'm pretty sure we did, but let's double check just in case. So we did get that one. And the Valentine's Day Festival, we're going to look over here one last time to see if we got it. And it looks like we did get it already. Um, we're going to keep looking around, trying to find the last final target. I will be back in a few minutes when I find the final target. Okay, everyone. So I have a little problem. I can't find the last one. Uh, I'm not sure at all where it is. My friends are were showing me in this oh there it is right there okay thank you very much summer girl she has shown me the way of where the last one was and I've not seen that one I guess I'm just a little blind to where it was so shoot and destroy all 10 targets with the cupid's bow you get 100 gems that's pretty cool so thank you thank you guys so much for watching thank you for your help as well summer girl I will gladly give you a pet in the mail it should come in the mail soon so thank you so much for helping me also thank you guys so much for watching this has been a great episode overall I give this update a 9.5 it is the update of the year so far but I do expect more of this game, and they will keep posting updates every single week. So stay tuned, hit the notification bell so you know when my next update video comes out, and when my next video comes out also. Also, please hit the subscribe button as it really helps grow my channel. And lastly, hit the like button so I know that you guys like videos like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Place. Goodbye.